guys, Ashley here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so stinking excited for this video because today we are going to be setting up my planners for July, which is really exciting. If I'm being honest, I have not had total planner peace over the last couple of months. Um, and I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how to set my planners up, what I can change, what I can do differently. And I haven't come up with a system, but I think I have one now. So I'm going to show you um, my current planner and then the planners I plan on adding, what I'm changing, all the things, and we'll get all of this set up. So currently I am using the Wild Styled Vertical Planner. And when I first started with the Happy Planner, I actually started with a fitness planner, but then my second planner was a vertical and I fell in love with it. Well, then nursing school happened and I got into the dashboard and I absolutely fell in love with it. Well, recently I went back to the vertical layout and it just... I miss my dashboard, y'all. I miss the dashboard layout, so we're going to be changing that up. Um, the dashboard layout, just that functionality of it to me is absolutely incredible, and it's exactly what I need in my life. Um, so we'll, I'll show you guys that, but this is the planner I'm currently using. And I recently added this section into the front of it. So I got the uh, Smart Goals Guided Journal, and I added it to the front and it has been a game changer for me. So let's let's walk through this real quick and I'll show you guys. So inside of it, basically you're planning out your entire week. And if you guys watch my pre-planning process, I love to pre-plan, I love to set results for the week and goals, and I love to know what my priorities are. And this right here has, has been phenomenal for that. And I literally just added this this week and I'm already in love with it. So you put your goals down for the week, um, positive saying in quotes, if there's any important due dates, three things that can help you achieve your goals, um, three role models who inspire you, you write about milestones from the week, and then this page here is where I kind of um, put my results. I kind of listed out the weeks here, or the days, I mean, and I was working on priorities, which normally when I set my priorities, um, I, I can set them in advance, but sometimes I set them the morning of. I got a general to-do list, distractions, which I talked about inside of that pre-planning video, and then this is just like a list of videos that I wanna make. But there are daily pages as well, which I absolutely love. So let me show you a blank one. This is today's, but here's a blank one. And at the top it says, what's your main goal for today? And I love that. So I can look back at my results that I wanna create for the week, and I can set a goal that's gonna help me reach those results. Today's task, so you can make just like a general to-do list here. This one says write a motivating message to yourself. This one says write an encouraging message to yourself. This one says write three positive daily reminders. So they're a little bit different each day. But then down here, this one says um, one thing you're proud of accomplishing today, lessons you learned today, and three wins from today. And I love these pages. These are definitely gonna stay in my planner. I'm only keeping seven days at a time, so this Sunday, I will take out this week's and I will add in next week's. So there's that. And then we flip over and this is where my vertical layout is at. Um, this was like my catch-all planner. But again, I'm just ready for change as far as that goes. And so this is going to be the one that I will be taking out of here. I love the vertical. Um, I just, I got to have that dashboard back, you guys. That functionality of it to me is is everything so that was that planner and I only have June inside of here and July but again it's gonna come out so that's oh I have August in here too dang okay so I kept three months in here I apologize for that three months of that planner in here but I will be taking it out and then I am also a health and fitness coach and I have a lot of social media plans so I had a separate planner for that and I was using the monthly layout and I believe this was from the I think it was called what was it botanicals or something like that I don't remember. Anyways, I started using this early, so I took no um, months from next year and used them for this year. So that's uh, why it says November, but it also says June. <laughs> so I was using that inside of here, which I do like this. I like the daily sheets over here, the you know the checklist or whatever. But my problem with this planner is um, I don't like having all these different sections to look at. So you've got the monthly here, right? Then you've got another kind of monthly here where you set your goals and that kind of thing, which I do like this, but then there's also daily pages and it just, it feels like too much for me, too much for me to keep up with. Right now I am in a season of um, kind of purging and I, I literally mean everything. I mean things that are not a priority of my life, things that are taking up 
um, that are causing me more stress and this little system right here is causing me stress and that's not cool our planners are not supposed to cause cause us stress right they're supposed to bring us happiness and so that's why we're gonna change everything up today um, and then back here this was just the rest of those um, August here or July I'm sorry would have been the rest of those pages for that one and then here is where I have my health and fitness planner at I recently started to make my own spreads in it and I love it and I'm actually going to continue doing that because that's kind of fun to just sit down and create and have fun with it this was a stressful week oh my goodness this is the current week we're on you guys look at these squad babes like how stinking cute are they and then back here we have um, just I have notes I have checklists I have uh, what is this called block schedules things that make me happy books to read things that bring me joy a meal plan and then from there it's just uh, just note paper different kind of note papers loving these get social sheets too by the way those are definitely gonna stay so after that I just have a folder and then that is that so in my first squad box the happy planner sent me this gorgeous baby oh my gosh y'all I'm loving this stinking thing this is the dashboard layout but the reason why I love it so so much is because it is neutral look at this thing you guys do you guys see how neutral that is oh my goodness the only color is this little focus box down here not a problem totally can cover that up I usually put a bunch of stickers down there anyways but there's not like that big color block up here there's no color here so I I need this I need this in my life I need <laughs> I need uh, the dashboard layout I'm so excited to get in this thing I am so thankful you guys so thankful that the happy planner sent me this um, because I was looking for a new planner layout to start with and this is this is gonna be it but I'm also gonna be adding something else into my planner so this one is a horizontal and I miss this planner I miss the horizontal layout and so I was thinking how can I add this into my planner lineup what can I do and I think I'm gonna make this one my um, faith planner is what I'm gonna do oh my gosh you guys look at that spread like how stinking cute is that so this is going to be added in there as well for my faith planner I used it up until I think December of 2019 yes December of 2019 look at this you guys real life here I made a fall bucket list and we probably didn't do any of that because of school I am I'm so glad to be done with school you guys holy cow <laughs> I'm so glad but it started it goes until um, it goes until December of this year so we will be adding in July and probably August because I don't keep a ton of months inside of my planner at once because I do Franken plan and everything gets put together so let's go ahead and dive in we'll start on that I am most definitely keeping this cover and these discs this these are um, metal like uh, champagne colored discs so I love these and like I said this section here is definitely going to stay totally staying but this is what's going to come out so I can today is today is Thursday so I do have a few more days inside of here so I am just going to go ahead and leave this month in here and I will take it out and I will put it back where it belongs um, once Sunday gets here and Sunday's over but I am going to go ahead and take out July and let me show you guys how I do this so I have a drawer inside of my Calyx drawers <laughs> where I keep my planners that I am currently using and this is what it looks like and because again I frank and plan everything onto one so I keep the planners that I'm using still on their discs but put up so this will go April May and then June would go next but we're gonna leave June in there just until this Sunday. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one back in here, but I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do too. I am totally gonna miss the wild styled like um, dividers and that kind of thing. Like I'm definitely gonna miss that as far as that goes, but it's okay. Planner pieces is required right now. I'm gonna take a sticky note and we are gonna put it right here 
So that way, Sunday, whenever it comes, I know exactly where the this month needs to go in here. So there's that. Oh, crap. This goes in there, too. Okay, let's get that thing back. <laughs> oh, pay attention, Ashley. Pay attention. So July and then August goes after that. So it'll go right here where this purple one's at. Oh, look at that cover, you guys. Which technically I could use those in Frankenplan. What is the? Yeah, I like the covers on this one too. I love the, the black. Hmm. Okay, we're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. I don't use the monthlies that much anymore. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I use them a ton with nursing school, but. I'm done with that so I don't even know if I'll be using the monthlies for now especially being on quarantine it's not like we're doing much anyways so we'll just leave it and then this one is going to come out I'm actually going to go ahead and take all of this out even though there's a few more days on it because I'm not even using it I'm using these get social pages and that's what I'll continue to use so I actually need to keep this one pull this out We'll take this out and then all of this can go July and two so there's that and then those will go back in here I should have a sticky note where they go See, this is kind of cool with all the inserts I have, so split it up. And then I'll leave this sticky note here because it just shows me where I would start at and if I wanted to use it again. So there's that. Now, my wellness stuff will be staying inside of here. This is just gonna stay here until Sunday. So we are gonna go ahead and add this planner to it. We are gonna add in July. And I'm gonna add August. So there's that and then we will take this sticky note we're gonna put it here I kind of wanted to start using these pages I don't use these um, year to glance pages at all so what I could do well no because I have this here. Hmm. Oh, I know what I could do. I have an idea, you guys. Hold on a second. I have this wild style companion pack that I want to use. And inside of here, there are these pages here. These like goals and vision board. And I want to add these in it. So... There's a bucket list sheet here, but I really like this part. So what I'm gonna do is buy a bigger desk so I have more room. We are going to put these pages up front right here. And then once July starts, I will use this page, but I'm going to actually tape it down to this one. So let's do that now. Because again, this will come out of there, so that's not going to matter. So let's tape that down. I do have the Tombow permanent adhesive. This stuff is incredible. You guys highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Okay, that 
that planner can be moved. And then I feel like I'm all over the place. I am so sorry, but this is just my thought process and I wanted to share this with you guys. So let's tape this down. The way I like to do this is pulling this all the way out, all the way back, and then same thing with this one. But you gotta be careful if you pull it back now and I lay it down, it's gonna hang over here because where these are rounded. So you have to like, I gotta get up for this, but you kinda have to line it up here first and then pull back on it, if that makes sense. So right there and then kind of pull back a little bit and that way it's all lined up sweet oh I love that you guys and then what I'll be able to do is set three big goals from now well from July until December so that's exciting oh I'm so glad I thought about that that's so cool okay cool um, so then we will have July, again, this will start then, dashboard layout, August, I like to keep a couple of months. And then I actually think I'm gonna have my fitness, I'm gonna keep my fitness planner next because I use it a lot with writing down meals and all that stuff. So there's that. And then let's add in this here for my faith journal. And I'm just gonna do one month at a time for it. Why is that not wanting to come out of there? Oh, I was trying to take out two months at a time. That's why. Okay. So this will go here. be my faith one and then I'll have notes at the back okay so from there we need to add in some dashboards so this one I will I'm gonna go ahead and move it that is so loud I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the July one and that way that's already set And then this one, once this week is over, I'm gonna continue to use this one over here in the actual dashboard layout. So there's that. And I'm also gonna put this, um, well, this will go here, this Get Social page, because I'm using this this week. So we'll just pop this in here. Now I need a divider for, so we have one for, my fitness which will stay there right here and then we need one for this okay so dividers let's see okay so for dashboards I I think I really want to use this yellow one because it, it sticks out it's kind of a little bit different but it's still it still matches like the black and, and that kind of thing. So I think that's the one I'm gonna use. So we're gonna go with that. Also, sorry for my squeaky chair. I've not figured out what this thing's problem is. So there will be that section. And then back here for the notes section, I'm just gonna add some more to it. Add some more notes in it. I thought about separating these two. So taking um, like the, the things that I've created and having them in a separate section, but I don't, I don't think I wanna do that. If I'm being honest, I don't think I want to. So I do wanna add a few of these sheets in here. We're just gonna add a couple of those. 
I need to get some more Get Social sheets out too and add those in there. Oh, I already have some. Well, let's just maybe add one more. I love these colors, you guys. So gorgeous together, so gorgeous. And then I do wanna add some things out of this um, Wild Child Companion Pack. We are most definitely gonna put these stickers back here in the holder, 100%. So those will go there. And then it also comes with this magnet, you guys, for the fridge. I thought that was genius. That is so stinking cute. It's like a um, dry erase magnet. But we're not gonna stick that in the corner. It also comes with a bunch of note paper, so we are gonna add that to it. I think I have some up here that's very similar, so. Yes, you can see how it's a little bit different though. It is, um, they both say wild ideas. Actually, this is big paper. I took the big um, paper and I cut it down to fit classic. That's why that's offset. Okay, that makes sense to me. So we are gonna add more of this in there. And I use these these papers for literally anything, you guys. I might make lists, I might write down ideas, um, just kind of whatever I need it for. So there's that. And then I'm also going to add in, this is a Happy Notes, and the paper here is plain dot grid, which I love, and I wanna add this in because I will use this inside of my wellness planner, my fitness planner. So what I'm currently using right now has the black down there and sometimes I just want plain. So we will add this back here and that way it's always in here and I still have some of the stuff that's got the black there as well. So there's that, and I think the last thing I am going to add will be these sticky notes. And I think I'm just gonna stick them right up front here so I know where they are at. That way I have those. Okay, so there we go. Let's do a quick little flip through because I feel like I went all over the place. So let's do a flip through of it and you guys can kind of see, talk about my thought process and that kind of thing. All right, so we've got our sticky notes, cover page, daily sheets. And another thing too that I really like about these is I get to be messy here, um, which you can be messy in your planner anywhere. That doesn't matter. But to me, I want like, you know, the planner that I'm using every day to be cute and to actually put some effort into it. But I also like to get messy with things. So I really love that I can just brainstorm, throw things in here. Um, so these these pages are incredible. And actually, I highly recommend adding these to your day. Um, maybe like in the morning is like your morning routine because you get to set your goals for the day and set your intentions and focus on the things that are important to you because y'all, it is so easy to get so scatterbrained and all over the place and then the end of the day comes, you feel like you've accomplished absolutely nothing. So I love these sheets so, so much. So there's those. And then we go into, and maybe I need to add something here. What could I put here? So I can refer back to this. I don't really want to use another dashboard because I feel like I have so many, especially ones that are this size. I don't want to use a longer one up here either because then, hmm, I don't know. We're going to leave it for now, but there's my like goal section and I will have this, um, I will set goals for the rest of the year. And then it'll technically start here because remember this section will come out after Sunday so then it starts into July which is where I will start into my dashboard layout so excited so excited so we've got a couple of months of that then we go into my fitness planner and here's the monthly of my fitness planner where I have um, 
my calendar for the workouts that I'm doing. And then here I want to do before and after photos. So um, by this Sunday I'll have that and I can finish that part. And there's that. This is the current week that we're on now. And then from there we go into what's going to be my faith planner. And it's not, um, it's like a journal basically. It's going to be a faith journal. And I will decorate it. And then I'll just journal in here because I am doing a Bible, a Bible study and I want to be able to journal the things that I'm learning with there. So I'm really excited too because it's got the lines. So that's fun. And then last but certainly not least is just my notes section here in the back that just has a ton of different random things. So that's all back here. Different notes. This takes up a, a pretty good portion of my planner but I love having all these different sheets back here. Different options. Um, especially depending on what I'm wanting to do. So that's, I love that that's there. And then again, we've got the folder and that is it. So that is my setup, you guys. Oh my gosh, I so hope this brings me some planner piece to be back into that dashboard and make it functional. I didn't mention this. I didn't mention this. Hold up, hold up. See, I'm so scatterbrained. This is going to actually be for everything. So I'm only gonna have one planner technically, for my catch-all, for social media, for coaching, all the things is literally, literally gonna go here. And here's why. The classic dashboard has a ridiculous amount of room. There's no need, at least for me anyways, there's no need to have multiple planners for all of those areas because I can literally fit them all here. So this will be, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna separate it as far as like, cause when I was in nursing school, I had like a nursing class here, a nursing class here, a nursing class here that's kind of how I did it. And so I may do something similar where I have like catch all for me, my family, just general things here. This might be um, for coaching, maybe social media, and then kind of plan things out. We'll see how that goes. But I just wanted to kind of throw that out there that this is literally my main planner is going to be one planner. So that's, that's a big change for me. That's a very big change for me. So that's, that's all I want to say there. Um, I'm really hoping that this brings me some planner peace, you guys. I really need it. I really need a lot of stress and overwhelm to just be out of my life. <laughs> um, I haven't talked about it, but something very personal happened recently. I will chat about that in the future, and I will share that with you guys. And that one thing really showed me that I have too many things going on, and it's really important for me to eliminate the things that are causing me stress where I can. And having... Um, a messy planner it felt messy to me was one of those things I needed to fix that and this is how I'm fixing it and it's gonna bring me so much more peace it's not something that's gonna be stressing me out anymore so I'm really excited for that so that's my setup you guys um, I will have a link down below in the description box to the happy planners website if you guys want to check out their products see anything that I have you can find it there if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to ask I'm always here to help thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video